Hey Taurus, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a general reading for your current energy, so let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. And this is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. And we have the Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. I feel like you are making a decision or you've recently made a decision uh, maybe about a new beginning, uh, possibly related to some sort of moving or traveling or maybe you're still trying to figure that out. I feel like there's a lot that you are thinking about when it comes to the future. Uh, we have the Queen of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, the Tower, the Ace of Cups. It's like there's something that you're very excited about. You're starting to make plans for it. I feel like with the Page of Pentacles, this is a new beginning. Um, Queen of Pentacles, you may be thinking about what you're going to need for it, um, what you're going to have to do, what you have to um, get in place to be prepared. We have the High Priestess, which is Pisces, Two of Wands, Nine of Cups, Three of Wands. So lots of planning, lots of doing. Um, for the most part, I think that with the Nine of Cups, you're very much you know, pleased and satisfied and happy. Um, about this and I think that with the high priestess you're just really mostly concerned with you know making sure that your gut feeling aligns with what you're doing it's kind of like you want to make sure that when you make this plan or when you decide to you know do this or do that that it feels good in your gut first kind of like you are very much focused on all of the little details um, you don't want anything to feel out of place you don't want to feel like you're running behind it's like there's a lot of it's kind of like you're saying I just want this to work Right, I just want this to be a success. So let's clarify the Two of Wands. Five of Cups. So maybe right now there is something that you recently had to um, accept or let go of in order to fully embrace this new path that you're going on. Maybe there's still some bittersweet feelings or emotions coming through. Um, I feel like for the most part, you know, it's kind of like you're starting to realize that some things do have to come to an end, right? It's like we hear good things come to an end, but I think that this is just about some things, right? We have to um, kind of remove the, I guess, our, our attachment to things um, so that we're able to move forward. I don't know how to describe it, but to me, that Five of Cups and the Ten of Wands, it's like there's something that was really, really hard to let go of, but you were able to do it. And even though you were able to do it, it's kind of like part of you is still thinking about it or wondering, but I don't know. I feel like you really care about this brand new beginning. You really care about what it is that you're doing at this time. So you're still, you're, you're just in that transition. You're in that process of making amends, accepting, you know, what needs to change and embracing all of this new stuff. We have the Ace of Wands, Knight of Swords, and the Star, which is Aquarius. And I really like that star energy coming through because I think that this just speaks to the fact that you are very optimistic. You are very hopeful. Um, you know, you're not really looking at this and saying, oh man, I had to, you know, sacrifice this and let go of that. You're, it's more like, I know that that was part of the process. I'm aware. It's like you are, you know, your whole energy, your whole perspective is just very calm it's serene it is it's your higher self you know and i think that with that knight of swords there's this level of commitment and determination to do this so i really like that it's like there's a specific level of like emotional maturity coming through that just really speaks to um, your character so let's just clarify the three of wands Three of Cups. So maybe this is related to something that you're doing to be closer to someone, closer to another person, closer to someone that you love, that you care about, that may be currently at a distance. Um, so I feel like this is about you being very much devoted and dedicated to your loved ones. Maybe this is, you know, something that you're doing from the heart. So we have the uh, Moon again, Queen of Wands, and the Ace of Swords. So with that Queen of Wands, I feel like this just confirms that you're very passionate about something. You're doing this from the heart. You're definitely thinking about others at this time. Maybe this is for your family. Maybe this is for a partner, your children. It's like there's there's definitely someone, a group of people here that you're really thinking about. I feel like with the Ace of Swords, maybe you feel like this is a call to action, right? Maybe you feel like this is something that you were meant to do, that you have to do. It's like you just know that this is what you're supposed to think about right now and this is the kind of 
transition or the kind of step you you have to take. I feel like with the moon, I feel like this is you accepting the unknown. You're accepting whatever this brings. It's like, I wish I could describe the energy itself. But I just, I don't know. It's like, there's just this knowing. It's like, yeah, you'll have to bear with me here. Let's clarify the high priestess. Emperor, which is Aries. Yeah, you're taking a stand for something that you care about, Taurus. You you really are. I feel like there's so much love here. There's so much passion. There's so much drive. Um, it feels like it's a personal thing. This could be related to work. It could be related to career. But I don't know. I feel like for a lot of you, this is just a personal thing. Uh, behind the Emperor is the Strength, which is Leo. Then it is Four of Cups. It's kind of like you're saying, I can sit and think about it all day, but I think if I if I don't do something about it, I'm going to regret it. So like you're being brave and you're doing something about it. We have Five of Cups, the Sun, which is Leo, and the Death card, which is Scorpio, to clarify the High Priestess. So I feel like your intuition is saying it's time to close this chapter so that we can move on to the next. So something has come to an end. There is something you had to let go of. Maybe you did have to sacrifice something, right? Maybe that five of cups coming through is like there, you are genuinely sad um, and feeling the loss. However, with it is already this knowing that you're going to feel happy too. It's like you are so aware that everything that has gone on, everything that you've had to do, it's going to be replaced by, it's going to be replaced by something so genuine and so real that makes you very happy that you're like, you know what? I'll do it. I'd do it over again if I had to. Wow. All right, let's clarify the Nine of Cups. All right, Five of Wands. Yeah, right now I feel like you are definitely surprising yourself. You know, and I, I don't know if I've had a reading like this before for you. Um, it feels like a completely different energy. It just feels so connected to like that um, heart chakra. We have the six of cups, the fool, the world, right? So it's like deep down in your core, Taurus, you know that you, this is what you want to do. This is what makes you feel good. This is what's going to give you meaning. This is what's going to give you satisfaction. Right? I feel like with the Six of Cups, there is something here about, again, a connection, a commitment, a relationship. Something is important to you and you're going to do whatever it takes to, to commit to that, whatever that looks like. Right, With the Fool, you're taking a leap of faith. You had to let something go. You did let something go, but you're doing it because you have faith that what you're about to step into is going to be all you know, the worthwhile. And I feel like with the world, this is again, emphasis on a brand new beginning that you are choosing to go on, that you're choosing an adventure that you're choosing to go on. Maybe there's travel involved. Maybe you're moving. Big, big changes, big steps being taken here. Um, let's see, let's clarify. Let's clarify the six of cups. Seven of Swords. Yeah, I feel like with the Seven of Swords, maybe there is a sense of, maybe there are certain people around you right now that have very specific opinions or have ideas or thoughts. I feel like you're kind of fighting that. You're sort of not letting that get to you. It's like you're keeping your eye on the prize. We have Ten of Swords, the world, which, or not the world, wow. The devil, which is Capricorn and the eight of pentacles so maybe with the devil and the ten of swords you're right now fighting some sort of um, negative energy or a toxic energy maybe there's someone around you right now that you also kind of want to get away from so it's kind of like you're you're killing two birds with one with one stone right it's like you're taking a leap of faith you're going in this direction that you really want to go on um, and at the same time you're also walking away and removing this very negative um, kind of energy around you. I feel like with the Eight of Pentacles, you've been kind of working on this for a while. Maybe this has been something that you've been thinking about for quite a few years, but it's like now we're really starting to gain some traction and, and feel empowered to take this next step. 
Behind the Seven of Swords is the Eight of Wands, King of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, Three of Swords, Two of Swords. Yeah, it's like you're trying to get away from an energy that has only made you feel worse. It's like you're trying to just not even deal with that. I feel like you're looking for a com like a complete and total replacement of your environment right now, Taurus. So very interesting reading. Um, if you like this and it resonated, please give it a like. Please subscribe and I will see you in the next one.